What's going on everyone? Jason here on Bindu's channel. Today I'm going to be showing and discussing a key feature that Bindu has that's especially crucial for new resellers and those resellers who may just not be confident pricing their items. My name is Jason and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple platforms thanks to Bindu. Using Bindu has helped increase my sales drastically and bring in sales faster on items that would have taken a little longer on just one platform. And before we discuss this price checker tool, I wanna bring you along on a quick thrift run that I did and show you a couple items that I picked up that I'll be using later on in this video. So let's head out now and I'll bring you along on my thrift journey, showing you a few items that I've picked up that will sell for really good money. I found that shoes usually bring in a great margin, so I always check this section. Right off the bat, a solid find. Adidas Boost golf shoes usually sell for that $50 range on average, but these are almost brand new. Therefore, I'd expect to get a little more on these shoes. I'm always on the hunt for camo. See what I did there? This pair of youth-sized coveralls was also like new. Brand is Redhead. Pro tip, most camo items have a certain pattern written on them. You can't really see it in this video, but I'll definitely make sure to get that in the listing title. This right here is one of my favorite brands to find, Patagonia. They have a lifetime guarantee on their products. These Cinchilla Snap Teeth fleeces are amazing. One phrase I try to live by is follow my curiosity. And by doing that, it's led me to this sweater. These Irish wool sweaters go for really good money. I think you'll be surprised to see what it will sell for. This may have been my find of the day. I walked out with a ton of stuff here, but that's all I was able to show you today. Time to head home and get these listed. So now I've just got home from thrifting and I've got a bunch of items that I wanna get up on multiple sites. And of course, I'm gonna be using Vindu for that. I've spent a lot of time talking about Vindu and all the features that it comes with, but today I wanna to focus on one feature specifically that I think is pretty sweet, especially for you new resellers out there. Which feature am I talking about? Today I'm gonna to be covering the price checker feature in the Vindu software that allows you to see how things are priced on multiple sites. So I'm gonna be showing you that feature in order to help you get a little more confidence when you're pricing so that you're not pricing it too high to not make a sale, but you're also not pricing it too low, throwing money away when you make the sale. You wanna try and figure out what's the sweet spot for the range in which you wanna price your item. The two items I'm gonna be showing you today are the ones that you saw in the video. This Patagonia Snap Tee Fleece is gonna be the first item, and this really cool heavy fisherman sweater from Carrick Dawn that's made in Ireland, got this really chunky knit. I'm I'm gonna be showing you this one as well. So let's jump to my computer now and I'll show you that price checker tool. All right, we're gonna start this off with my personal favorite, the Patagonia Cinchilla Snap Tee Fleece. I love finding these things. They always do well for me. So we're gonna start with my home page here. I've already created the uh, listing here in eBay and pulled it into Vindu, as you can see on this first page. And now I'm going to uh, kick it out to all of these other sites. In order to do that, we need to know how much we're we gonna price this at. So we're gonna scroll all the way down on the Vindu template to listing price. Now I don't have a price listed here because that's what this video is all about. Let's click the price checker button and see what results we get. So now right away, I'm gonna get three results, three different platforms of data. You can see this top one, Poshmark. So you've got current price, the current average price, and the average sold price. And then below that, you can see some listings that are actively listed on Poshmark right now. If you scroll over, you've got Mercari, current average price on Mercari, as well as the sold price, and then some listings down below that as well. Now let's go ahead and click in and take a look at some of these that are currently being sold by other sellers. Very similar items, and you can kind of get an idea of prices as you scroll down. And of course, if you look to the right over here, average sold price, the main difference in this column is obviously gonna be these are items that have sold, whereas these are items that have been listed and haven't sold yet. So if you're looking just on Poshmark alone and you see an average current price of 7706 and an average sold price of 4871, how do you know which price to list at? Time out. Now let's take a break real quick because before you just take a look at these prices, pick a price and then list it, you need to know one thing. And that is that some of these items are being listed under value. That means someone doesn't know the value of the item that they have. They list it for 40 bucks, it sells, when really they could have gotten $100. So I always take that into consideration when I see these averages. I generally get an idea that they're probably gonna be brought down a little bit because of resellers who don't know the item that they have, they don't know the value, and they price it too low. I'm usually gonna price a little higher than the price checker tool for that simple reason alone. 
And because this is a nuanced game, every item is different, it's unique in its own way, some items are gonna be way more valuable than the average price and some are gonna be a little less. This piece right here, although it does have some really neat color block themes going on, it doesn't have some of the really intricate designs and themes that some of these other ones that are going for more do have. So when you're looking over these listings, kind of get an idea of what you have and what those items are selling for. Compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. If you're a new reseller and you're looking to price this item, I would suggest taking a lower amount at first while you're new so that you can make those sales and kind of learn how things work. Then, once you become a more experienced reseller, you can start to raise your prices as your feedback improves, as you gain experience, and as you become someone who is a lot more trustworthy just because you've had more time with it. So if I were a newer reseller in your shoes, I would say take the average sold price and the average listing price and price somewhere in that range. So newer resellers out there, my target range would be between that $80 to $95 range on this particular item. All right, real quick, now let's take a look at this awesome sweater. All right, here are the results and I think you'll see they're very different. Poshmark, average price $60, roughly sold $39. Mercari, $37.50, and eBay has the higher price at $90 current and $88 sold. You can see very little fluctuation there in the current price and the sold price on eBay. And I'll definitely click on these results to find some of these listings so I can get an idea of what specific sweaters are going for. And to make this short and sweet, for this sweater right here, this really awesome vintage piece, I'm gonna price that at around $90 if I am a new reseller with a very little experience. And again, for more experienced sellers, I'm gonna price that a little higher than 100 bucks plus shipping, take offers, and we should get a sale that way. Now, the last thing I wanna mention on this video, you can see a very big difference on the Poshmark and Mercari data compared to eBay. That tells me that I'm probably gonna make a higher sale on eBay compared to the other sites. I'll still list it for a higher price on Poshmark and on Mercari. It's just that it'll likely sell on eBay for the price that I'm wanting to get for it. I think you'll see that that price checker tool is a huge benefit for resellers like you and I. If this video helped you at all and you learned something, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to get more videos like this where you can learn from other resellers and get tips on how to use Bindu efficiently to bring in sales, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Jason signing off. Peace.